All right, so this is a hologram video um, from a Holovec volumetric display. Um, I think Holovec is the company name. It's something that you know caught my eye. Uh, it's 3D projection. Uh, play some of the video so you can kind of see some of it. All right, pause it there for a second. All right, <clears throat> as you can see, you got the little, the little projector projecting, you know, green laser beam, and you can see the green laser beam. You can see, um, you can see a green light, a green line that's in thin air or thick air, whichever you want to look at it, because they're using a method that allows them to manipulate the density. You know, and the volume, you know, the, 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 the thickness or the, or the thinness of air, they're able to manipulate the air to, to the point where the laser beam can actually reflect off of it, can actually come in contact with the air, you know, air molecules, right? So it's similar to my uh, light to light projection. Um, concept, you know, where you're trying to make, uh, a, well, the idea was is you use two lasers, um, one laser projection to project a dirty or, you know, a more reflective um, um, laser uh, projection, and then you project onto that your image, you know, the, the 3D projection that you want, and that's how you'll get your 3D model. So this concept is similarly the same thing. Only difference is instead of using two laser systems to project the hologram in thin air, you're actually using uh, thin air. Basically, you're using a system, a device that uh, modifies the air, that manipulates the air, so the air becomes basically the dirty laser, the the project projection screen, and you're projecting up onto that stream of air that so which is really awesome um it definitely takes away because this is not too different from the water screen concept where they're using water vapors and there's like basically steam and then they're projecting onto the water vapors the steam with a projection um it's similar to that the issue with that is that you need you need access to water you need a system that vaporizes the water and all that good stuff, right? And then, and then the image resolution ain't the greatest uh, because of the imperfection of the the steam. Basically, the inconsistency is not consistent flow. You know, it's kind of sporadic because you know heat is causing the molecules to move around and this and that. So all that stuff. So you get like a fuzzy, distorted uh, 3D image. Granted, you still get a, a hologram ish effect but it's the whole point of a hologram is that you want to project an image a 3d three-dimensional image in thin air now you have a way to manipulate the thin air and make it a little bit thicker so that way you can project upon it because of the difference of, of the difference in the air in the room or in the space that you're in and then the location in which you are projecting or manipulating or modifying the air this is projected upon that. Obviously you can go, the, the link for this video will be in the description so you can go watch it and hear more of the scientific aspect to it and get the explanation from from this video. I'm just giving you, you know, what my, my basic understanding of what they did which is not too different from my concept of holographic projection. Uh, I'm making this video to showcase like hey look as you can see uh, my concepts do work um, I personally haven't uh, done this myself uh, I've done something similar to this which was using a can of Axe body spray in order to uh, produce this effect and I think I still have that video along with another video on my uh, channel um, so you can you know, which as you'll see, 
will give you a similar effect to what you see in this video. As you, you see how that's moving around. So tell me, uh, what are some of... It's doing a vortex type effect where the lights is spinning around in a circle and it's creating a vortex effect. As you can see, you can see the light from the from the projector. It's pretty cool. But, you know, you can go check it out if you want to you know, see more of it. And as you can see, you know, we're getting close. We're getting close. You know, next couple of years, you know, we'll have not only holographic duelists, we have a lot of other things holographic. You know what I mean? You, know, you might might have a PlayStation. What we at PlayStation Four? Maybe you have a PlayStation Five or a PlayStation Six, right? With a holographic display, so you don't need a, a flat screen TV. You know what I mean, uh, the future is now, basically. That's the end of the video.